I think in different countries, different scenarios are actually happening. Uh, probably in, in China, I think there probably has been a degree of overbuild in new, fire, new coal fired power plants. I think many of the provinces have used construction to uh, actually encourage economic growth in, in their region. Uh, I think in India, we've seen a, a situation where power demand growth actually hasn't grown uh, as, as much as it has been expected, which is surprising in many ways, given you know, the huge energy challenges that exist uh, in India. Um, and that's been partly due to kind of the difficulty, the financial difficulties of many of the distribution companies. Um, and so I think you know, in different countries, there are, are different factors uh, at play. But you know, one of the interesting things is about that kind of uh, level of utilization at the moment is that um, if we don't see the degree of deployment of renewables or connectivity of renewables in some of those countries, particularly in India and China, uh, actually be achieved to the really ambitious levels that they are planned for, then you know, that points to those coal plants actually having the capacity to pick up the slack in many scenarios too. Well, to me, coal has a role to play in, in ensuring sustainable development and energy access. I think China is actually a really good example of that. Uh, you know, China is a country that's driven its electrification strategy based on coal, uh, and 600 million people in China have been lifted out of poverty over that time frame. So, you know, I think it's it's not necessarily sensible to say that coal doesn't have a role to play in in uh, energy access and, and and development of the economy. Now, in different scenarios, different technologies are going to have a role to play. Coal-fired power generation is particularly good. Uh, for business and industry, but that's important because it provides jobs that people can actually go and get uh, and, and supports economic growth. Now, in different scenarios, different technologies have a role to play. I think in rural locations, renewable technologies, mini and off-grid solutions are important because they're, they're easy to build, you can build them quickly, they provide a degree of electricity uh, immediately. But uh, I think over time, grid-based electricity becomes important, particularly in a world of you know, very much increasing urbanisation, 1.1 billion people moving into cities uh, over the next 15 years or so. Grid-based systems are much more important in cities. Uh, and so you know, coal has a role to play there alongside renewables and other technologies as well. I think uh, the challenges that you're talking about are brought about partly by coal, partly by other things. Um, my interest is in making sure that we're building plants with the best emission control technologies because no, I wouldn't be happy to, to raise a child in, in those scenarios. I think it is important that we actually do have uh, the technology in place to reduce emissions. I wouldn't want to, to live in that, in, in that kind of environment if I could. Uh, and so that's why I'd be focused on trying to, to deploy those technologies.